Hi there guys, how are you doing? This is your friend and tutor Manas and in this video we are going to be talking about conic section. What exactly does this mean? Well, a conic is the curve obtained by the intersection of a plane called the cutting plane with the surface of a double nap cone. So let's kick off this session as to how this cone was born. To understand this, we are going to generate a two dimensional profile on a plane and then we're going to revolve that profile so that it gets converted into a double nap cone. So let's see how all of that works. So this is the profile showing two right angle triangles. Okay, two right angle triangles over here and joined at their corner. Here, we'll rotate this entire profile about this vertical line. So let's do that. And this is exactly what we're going to achieve. That's what you call a solid of revolution. Or to be very precise, to be very specific, that's a double napped right circular cone. So this is the object that we're going to be cutting in different ways to obtain different set of curves. So let's start with the first one, ellipse. Definition says, it's a curve obtained when the cutting plane passes through all the generators. Okay, so here, this yellow colored portion that you see or yellow colored plane that you see is what you call a cutting plane. And now let's cut this object, but make sure that this cutting plane passes through all the generators. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to pull this downwards so that it starts intersecting all these generators. Now you can see that almost half the generators are gone or half the generators have been intersected. I'm going to pull this further downwards. So to ensure that all of them have been intersected. So this is what you call the outline of this blue colored portion. Okay, is in fact a curve, which is popularly known as an ellipse. Looks a lot like convex in shape and it is bounded. But there is something else that I need to tell you. Well, the circle in fact is a special kind of an ellipse. Let me show you why. Mm, let me try to hold this cutting plane in sort of a parallel way. Okay. So what I've basically done is that the cutting plane has been held parallel to the base. Okay, if you if you watch this carefully, this is the base and this is the cutting plane. Both of them are absolutely parallel. And we try to hold this cutting plane in such a way and make sure that all the generators have been intersected. The conic section or the conic that you're going to get is what you call a circle. That's it. Now, let's talk about another conic parabola. By definition, it is the curve obtained when the cutting plane is parallel to any one generator. Okay, so this is the generator I'm talking about and this cutting plane has been held in such a manner that it is absolutely parallel to this generator. Okay, this one. All right. The curve in fact is unbounded. So let's see how it goes. So let me push this cutting plane slightly towards this and there you have it. The curve that you're going to obtain, okay, the outline of this blue colored portion is what you call a parabola. And finally, we are going to talk about hyperbola. Well, by definition, it's a curve obtained when the cutting plane will intersect both halves of the cone. So here is the cutting plane and we're going to make sure that it passes through both the halves, the upper as well as the lower half. So let's see how it goes. And this curve, okay, this blue colored portion that you guys see, this is what you call a hyperbola. Okay. This outline is a hyperbola. This outline is a hyperbola. All right. It's one single curve. So don't confuse it. And uh, this is also unbounded. Now I can slightly tilt this cutting plane also. Let me show you. And still it is going to pass through both the halves. That also in fact can be termed as a hyperbola. So I've tilted this slightly. Okay, you can see this from the sideways. Uh, slight tilt. And this uh, profile is slightly bigger than this profile. But still it's a hyperbola. All right. Now let's take this session forward and let's understand conic section from a mathematical perspective. Okay, so let's first take a look at ellipse. All right, so for that, I'm going to be showing you right now the front view of a double nap cone. That's it. And then let this be the axis. And over here, I'm going to fix this cutting plane. Okay, the red color line you'll see immediately. Now this cutting plane is such that it passes through all the generators, all these lines. Okay all the generators and now I'm going to tell you something about these angles that this angle over here is the semi vertical angle of the cone alpha and this red colored line 
okay which in fact is a cutting plane is going to make an angle theta with this vertical axis all right now there is this special relationship between both of them which defines ellipse it goes like this that pi by 2 more than theta and theta greater than alpha now what happens when pi by 2 that is 90 degrees more than theta i can also say when theta should be less than 90 degrees okay now if you try to increase this angle theta a point will come when this red colored cutting plane will become absolutely horizontal and that's when you're not going to get an ellipse rather you'll get a circle that's why this condition is of absolute importance okay so theta shall never be equal to pi by 2 okay but it should be less than always pi by 2 all right so we have this one more condition which says that theta is greater than alpha so theta should always be greater than alpha all right but should never be equal to alpha so but what happens when theta is equal to alpha i'll show that in over here okay so let's take a look at parabola so for parabola let's have the front view of this double nap cone let's have the axis and now let's have the cutting plane all right so this is angle over here is what you call the semi vertical angle represented by alpha and over here we're going to have an angle made by this red colored cutting plane with this vertical axis popularly known as theta now guys if you try to have a closer look at this and from the definition of parabola which said that if the cutting plane is parallel to any one generator and when you take a closer look at this this is one generator and this cutting plane appears as if it is parallel to this generator okay then these are the two parallel lines and this angle is alpha and this angle is theta that is angle made by cutting plane and this is the semi vertical angle these two angles hold a special relationship now these two lines are parallel and hence these two angles are corresponding angles we can say that theta equals alpha or when theta equals alpha the conic section that you're going to get is a parabola all right so that's the answer when i said when theta equals to alpha what happens a parabola eventually appears all right let's take this forward and we'll now understand hyperbola from a mathematical perspective so let's have this front view of this double nap cone let's have the axis let's have the cutting plane okay this is alpha obviously now you can clearly see that this cutting plane is absolutely parallel to the axis or you can also say that this cutting plane is perpendicular to the base and when such an event happens you will have this theta is equal to zero degree since it is absolutely parallel to the axis okay or theta is less than alpha all right that's where you're going to get this hyperbola let's try to look at this from a different perspective now you have this double nap cone in front of you and you have this axis you have um, a cutting plane this angle is alpha all right and the angle made by this cutting plane with this vertical axis is represented by theta so here you can clearly see that apart from theta being less than alpha this cutting plane is also passing through both the halves of the cone the upper half and the lower half which is clearly a condition for obtaining a hyperbola so there are basically two things that you need to remember when you speak of a hyperbola first thing is theta should always be less than alpha and here theta was equal to zero okay apart from that the cutting plane should be passing through both the halves of the cone okay the upper half as well as the lower half and when such an event happens the conic that you're going to get is a hyperbola so guys that was all from my side for today and if you have any doubts or queries regarding conic sections then write them down in the comment section below if you like the presentation and content in this video, do give it a big thumbs up. And after watching this video, I would strongly recommend all of you guys to watch my playlists based on conic sections. There, you're going to find a whole lot of problems based on parabola, ellipse and hyperbola construction. All of them are pretty good. Do watch them as you're going to learn a lot. So that was all for today. This is Manas Patnaik signing off. Take care, have a great day and keep drawing.